Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making my predictions for the 2020 edition of Backlash. A show that they're promoting the greatest wrestling match ever, I feel like this show is just set up for failure. If you have one of the people in the match that's being promoted as the greatest match ever saying that it's not possible, why would you promote it that way? I just feel like when this Backlash show is over, we're all going to feel like we kind of wasted our time watching this. So now with all that being said, we'll get right into my predictions for Backlash 2020. Match number Number one, it's for the United States Championship and we'll see Apollo Crews defending his title against Andrade. This match I feel like could, in theory, be the best wrestling match on the show. With the run Crews has been on, leading into Money in the Bank when he got hurt and taken out of it, and since then, Crews has seemed to hit a whole new level and people are starting to believe in him again. And Andrade is still one of the best wrestlers currently in WWE. In this match, I feel like the turmoil with Andrade, Angel Garza, and Zelina Vega's little group is going to lead to something not going well for Andrade. and Apollo Apollo Crews will retain the US Championship here. With what I believe WWE is trying to build Apollo Crews into, I don't think taking the title is an option here. Where we see him is going to be the fighting United States Champion where he's going to defend it every week, pretty much every time against anyone who wants it. I think Crews losing here would be a very bad decision and that's why I think he'll keep his US title. So now on to match number two. And match number two will be a standard singles match, and we'll see Jeff Hardy taking on Sheamus. With this match, I feel like there's no crazy insight to who the winner is going to be. After you're being accused of being a drunk driver and doing a hit and run, I feel like you'll get your revenge kind of here and get a win. So I think Jeff Hardy will beat Sheamus in this match. After WWE playing up Jeff Hardy's past, where he's had some uh, intoxicated incidents, we'll say, I think this will kind of be a Jeff Hardy is rising above his past to get a win here and beating the people who are trying to keep bringing up his past past to knock him down and this will be the first step to beating Sheamus before going on to other people who are going to more than likely try to do the same thing. So now on to match number three. And match number three will be for the WWE Universal Championship here and it'll be a handicap match where we'll see Braun Strowman defending his title against John Morrison and The Miz. I think this match is just going to be Braun Strowman bullying around The Miz and Morrison the entire time where The Miz and Morrison maybe get one run, and in the end, Braun Strowman will retain the Universal title here. I just feel like this Universal title picture is a, a tad weird on SmackDown right now, and I think The Miz and Morrison winning really has no shot happening, because it'll just make that title seem even more convoluted and cloudy. I think they'll just keep Strowman's train a rolling here, where he beats two people in one match. So now on to match number four. And match number four is for the WWE title where we see the champion Drew McIntyre taking on Bobby Lashley. This match has all the writing on it to me that Lana's gonna screw this up for Lashley and Drew McIntyre will retain his WWE title here. With the who's managing Bobby Lashley sweepstakes continuing to bounce between Lana and MVP, I feel like MVP is going to end up being Lashley's manager as we saw with their little run in TNA back in the day. Where it finally comes to a head here at Backlash, where Lana comes down, screws something up where Lashley looked to be in control and could have won the title before getting hit with a Claymore from McIntyre and losing at Backlash. And then we all know where this will lead on Monday Night Raw with a lot of Lana yelling with them getting divorced. And then MVP handling that and then Lashley kind of gets a role just destroying more and more people week by week. And then McIntyre will move on to a new competitor at the next pay-per-view. So now on to match number five. And this will be a triple threat for the WWE Women's Tag Team titles where we'll see Bayley and Sasha Banks defending their titles against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross and the Iconics. I feel like if there would be a new champion coming out of this match, I feel like the team you would pick is the Iconics to get the pin on Nikki Cross so then Sasha and Bayley have something else to complain about. But when this match has the 1-2-3, I feel like Bayley and Sasha will retain the WWE Women's Tag Team titles here. This little Sasha and Bayley are the tag champions also while Bailey is still the SmackDown Women's Champion, I feel like will lead to a one night pay-per-view thing where Bailey has to defend both titles, where she ends up being tired for the, or not trying, in the tag title match. They end up losing, her and Sasha then begin the feud we've been waiting for, again for three years I think now. But in the meantime for Bailey in the singles front, I feel like she'll be taking, reigniting her feud with uh, good old Lacey Evans again. She'll probably take on Alexa Bliss in a one-on-one -on -one match and Nikki Cross in a one-on-one -on -one match. Which after those feuds would be over, I think would be the time where the tag team turmoil would happen and they lose the titles and then we get Sasha versus Bailey for the SmackDown Women's title. So now on to the co-main event of the evening. And that'll be for the Raw Women's Championship where we'll see the champ Asuka defending the title 
against Nia Jax. My pick to win this match is Asuka to retain the Raw Women's title here. As we've heard and seen in the past with Nia Jax kinda not being the uh, safest in the ring recently, I just feel like Asuka is gonna be on a collision course with Charlotte who just lost the NXT Women's title on Sunday. And now I feel like no doubt that Charlotte and Asuka will be colliding at SummerSlam for this Raw Women's title. Where Charlotte's gonna say, I ended your streak at WrestleMania 34 when you were this un uh, unstoppable monster. And now I'm gonna end your Raw Women's title run here and I'm gonna regain the crown of being the queen. And her and Asuka will hopefully have a barn burner at SummerSlam. So now on to our main event of the evening, the greatest wrestling match ever. And this will feature Edge taking on Randy Orton in a singles match. After the longest match at WrestleMania 36 between both nights, I believe, where Red Hidge and Orton had their last man standing match, with them just having a standard singles match, I feel like this is going to go probably 20 minutes, and it could be pretty good. But let's be honest, this will not be the greatest wrestling match ever. This is just setting up Edge and Orton to have to live to some crazy expectation, and they're more than likely going to fall short. Let's just look at Nakamura vs. AJ from WrestleMania 34 that we all had. That's going to be the greatest match ever. And what happened? Happen. My pick to win this match is Edge. I feel like Edge is going to have a rivalry coming up with Seth Rollins depending on how he's used right now. If he's going to stick around for a while or this could be the SummerSlam program. We still have another pay-per-view in between now and SummerSlam now I'm looking at the calendar. So when you look at what Rollins is doing where he's getting Rey Mysterio to retire, shoving people's eyes in the stairs and everything. I feel like him and Edge is definitely going to be happening here sooner than later. And in the terms of Randy Orton, I can see him going against Apollo Cruz for that US title because they had some decent matches back when they were both on SmackDown and in the past and I think Orton in the US title mix could bring that up even more on the card. So that'll do it for my predictions for the 2020 edition of Backlash. Leave your predictions in the comments section below and if you like the video hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and want to see more hit the subscribe button and as always thanks for watching.